Okay, I wanted to do a quick little video here to sort of give you an overview of what you should be working on at this stage um, now that we are in topic five, so in the final portions of the course, and essentially this is in lieu of the class that we would have had on the 1st of April. So looking at the course content specifically for this area, so I'm going to scroll down here to the topic five folder situating your thesis and you'll see there are four items in there eventually there will be five once I finish recording this video this video will actually be the first item that'll be there so it'll be right above this but then you'll see that there's a reading there which is actually a chapter from a, a pretty good book on um, you know writing a successful dissertation proposal as I've mentioned many times in the past when you see the term dissertation in any of these documents, you should think thesis because the advice is the exact same. So looking at this particular reading, um, it'll give you sort of an overview of the types of things you want to include in your, um, in your introduction, in your chapter one that you're going to have. And um, I'll put another video in here in a little bit, which will actually fall right about here, so it'll fall in between the front matter template and the introducing your thesis. That sort of talks a little bit about that chapter one material using some of the samples from the digital comments. So as you can see, you've got that reading there, and then um, so it'll be this video that you're watching now will be the first one, the introductory video, then it'll be the reading, then it'll be the front matter template. Now this is a Word document that essentially provides the material that you need, the title page, the abstract page, the table of contents format, and then there's a section break in there, and all of those things are uh, using Roman small, lower, or lowercase Roman numerals for the page numbers, and then when you get the section break, um, that's where you would start your chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and your appendices and your references. And because there's a section break in there, you're, you'll be able to insert your page numbers at that point using just regular numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that kind of thing. Um, so if you have any questions about using that, feel free to email me or I can schedule a time with you to figure out how to go about um, incorporating that if you're having any trouble. Uh, what will come next right here will be a video that will use some of the um, theses from the Digital Commons to sort of give you a little bit of uh, background or an idea on uh, how others have introduced their thesis, so how others have essentially written chapter one. And then you can see two resources here that look at introducing your thesis or writing chapter one, and those are good guidelines as well, and I'd encourage you to take a few minutes to look at those. So looking at where you should be right now, at this stage of the game or leading up to the class on April 1st because you'll note that the class on April 1st required or asked of you to um, the deadline for that particular class was to upload chapter 3. So leading up to Friday's class, um, some of you we're still working on your data collection methods section and your data analysis methods section. If you are in that boat, you want to get those done and get those done now. I mean, if you are actually in that boat, you're a little bit behind uh, the, the game. Um, most of you were in that number two and number three range where you were beginning to develop your instruments. You were sending them to me uh, so I could take a look at the, the face validity of those and then you were heading out to pilot test them and then that's the order that I think you should be doing them so once you know what your data collection methods are and you've got your analysis methods in place you want to pilot test your develop and pilot test your instruments right away um, then you want to be writing that sample or case section the reliability and validity section the subjectivity statement section and your chapter summary section and that should finalize your chapter three. Now what you'll upload into Blackboard for me um, in the chapter three entry is you will upload all of the sections of your chapter three. So the introduction, the methodology, the sampler case, the data collection methods, the data analysis methods, the reliability and validity, the subjectivity statement, and the chapter summary. And 
all of the appendices that include your instruments. So if you haven't pilot tested your instruments yet, you can't submit that particular document. So once you have pilot tested your instruments and you are confident that the instrument is in its final draft, that is when you would include it as an appendices and then you would upload it into Blackboard. The second that you upload it into Blackboard, I'm going to ask that you email me because as soon as you do that, um, I'm going to go in and review it right away and once I review it, I will give you the go-ahead to start your thesis study. Now, as we talked about a number of times in this class, it's likely going to take you a minimum of four to six weeks, more realistically six to eight weeks to collect data, uh, just because people take time to do things and they don't quite always work on our schedules. Eight weeks from today basically takes you to the beginning of June. So, um, you know, you want to make sure if you haven't got your instruments pilot tested yet, you want to do that right away. Um, and you want to get these three items done and get them done as soon as possible because the longer you wait, the more likely it is that you will have difficulty getting a full set of data collection. And if you don't get a full set of data collection before the school year ends, you won't be able to continue on into 691 and you'll have to wait until the fall to finish your thesis. Um, so it's critical that you get these items done right now. Now, as soon as you get these items done, so once you've been given the go-ahead to start your study, then you have to look ahead to, okay, let's finish 690. And basically, to finish 690, all you really need to do is to write your chapter one and to, then to get all of your materials together in a single document. So if you're looking at how to go about doing that, um, the first thing to do is download that front matter template item, uh, that Word document from Blackboard. You're going to open up that document and then add chapters 2 and 3, as well as all of your references, as well as your appendices, into that document. And then go back at, to the beginning of the document, so right after the front matter uh, content, so right after that section break, and then add chapter 1 into that document and then you're going to submit that document to me as a single document and that essentially finishes 690 but the main thing to start to be working on now is to essentially be getting ready to start your thesis study so if you haven't got those items done on the previous screen work on those first this is of secondary concern to you right now. This is basically what you can be doing while you're waiting for people to complete your data or while you're collecting your data but still don't have enough to start analyzing it yet. Um, so that's where we are right now. And, um, you know, you want to be looking ahead a little bit to, you know, make sure you've got this on your radar screen and that you're going to get this done by the end of the semester, which would be around, the I think it's the 23rd of April. Um, but... Other than that, the main focus right now is getting everything related to Chapter 3 done, including your instruments developed, pilot tested, and then all of that approved so you can start your thesis study. As always, if you've got any questions, feel free to email or call me, and I look forward to interacting with you over the coming week.